Well, uh, uh, my real discovery of author Hubert Selby was uh, uh, when I first discovered the movie Pi. And uh, I must have been 11 years old. And uh, I remember just, just looking at the newspaper uh, you know, and seeing it in there, this movie spelled P.I. You know. I asked my stepdad about it, and, and uh, even though the whole thing confused me, uh, uh, I was still kind of in intrigued by the movie, even though I knew nothing about it. And eventually, when I was like 13 or 14, I actually did finally see it. And uh, again, it, it still confused me a lot. But as I saw more and more, I still became, you know, fascinated by it. Uh, I just loved how beautiful it looked. Just the whole logo it was just so beautiful. And uh, I learned about the director, Darren Aronofsky, and uh, tried to find out any more films he made. And the other film he made after that was uh, Requiem for a Dream. I don't remember what I first heard about it, just uh, that they had a movie unrated because of its content. And so eventually I saw that as well, and like most people who have seen it, just just completely blown away by it. Uh, you know, you're just uh, you know shocked by it, uh, just disturbed by it. Uh, just one of the very rare films you see that really takes the time and effort to really you know connect with the audience through really just uh, you know go out of the screen and go into the view. And, uh, <clears throat> and the DVD, uh, you know, there's an interview with the author of the book that it's based on. And uh, that's when I found out about the author and the you know, this fascinating life he led, and uh, the fact that he even had a life. And after that, you know, I tried to find out everything I could about the author, and they just read all of his books. And uh, I eventually started writing a screenplay for his third novel, The Demon. But evidently, I saw the world filled with pain. And like that's all I saw, with people hurting each other, killing each other, beating each other, just pain everywhere. But as a child, it baffled me even more why people are always hurting each other. I could not understand it. Uh, Hubert Selby, uh, he grew up in Brooklyn in the Depression. And uh, eventually, uh, he just quit school when he was like, you know, 15, and uh, eventually he joined the Marines, uh, and, he, and eventually in World War II, uh, he went overseas and get, had a, a horrible case of uh, tuberculosis. They, uh, they gave him like this experimental drug that eventually botched uh, the whole surgery. So they had to uh, uh, cut open his ribs uh, to treat his lungs. Uh, one of the lungs collapsed and they ended up taking out a part of his other lung. And afterwards, uh, the doctors basically just said he only had like a, a year to live. I have such a rotten attitude that I refuse to die. Don't tell me what I'm gonna die. I'm still here. Uh, for years, he just coasted through life uh, in and out of hospitals, couldn't really get a job because of his health condition. Uh, so then one day, uh, he had like a, a, a spiritual like experience, like an epiphany. He realized that he could die at any time, and when he did die, he would regret his entire life. He realized that his entire life was a complete waste. He, had, he couldn't do anything with it, and that and when he did die, he would want to relive his life over again. And that was terrifying. Oh, what a... What a thought, to live your whole life, whatever it is, and at the end you look at it and say, I blew it. I blew the whole thing, and then, whew, it's that. And uh, because of that, like, he had to do something with his life. So he decided since he knew his alphabet, he could just write, he could just become a writer. Um, so every day, 
Like for years and years, he just wrote and he wrote and he wrote. And uh, just throughout his whole life, you know, he struggled with his health problems, and, which obviously led to drug addiction. And he actually managed to, to cure that. Managed, you know, to live all the way up in the 70s like most people do. How he writes, it's just extremely raw. Uh, there's there's never any quotation marks. There's never any apostrophes. Uh, sometimes it, you know, the sentences can be like over a page long. Uh, he, he spells anything whatever he wants to spell. Uh, he just does quite innovative uh, experiments with typography. You know things that nobody had ever done before. You know. With all of his novels, there's always like a very uh, radical contradiction in perception. Uh, you know, he writes about people that uh, we usually associate, we usually think are wrong or immoral. You know, like uh, thieves and crooks and uh, you know prostitutes and pedophiles. All these people uh, usually automatically judge. Uh, we actually feel sympathy for them. Uh, we actually uh, you know, feel their suffering. He once said, uh, being an artist doesn't take much, uh, just everything you got. And, uh, you know, that's, that's really inspired me because you know, with my ideas uh, for movies, you know, I, I don't really have much. Well, sometimes I have stories, sometimes I just have ideas just for a movie, but not exactly the story, you know. So, uh, so that's what I'll do, I'll just use, use what I got, you know. I'll just, just use that and just use it as much as I can.